Member for Abbotsford. Tax and spend policies have killed the Canadian dream. Every day we ask this government what it's doing to make life more affordable for Canadians. And every day they tell us how much money they're spending. It's not how much money you spend, it's about the results you deliver. And by that standard, this government has failed. Yesterday's budget was no different. Tax, 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 spend, 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 as the Prime Minister stokes the fires of inflation. What happened to his promise to stand up for the middle class and those looking to join it? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank my colleague for asking a question about the results we're delivering. This morning, Statistics Canada announced that we have the lowest unemployment rate in nearly 50 years. Mr. Speaker, we have recovered 115 percent of the jobs lost during the pandemic, and I would like to thank the hardworking Canadians from coast to coast who are rolling up their sleeves, getting to work, and creating growth for our country. I also know there was a little feedback on the table there, so make sure the headsets aren't near the, the, the microphones. The Honourable Member for Abbotsford. Well, the cost of home ownership has doubled. Food prices are through the roof. Fuel costs are at record highs. And yesterday's budget only made things worse. There was no help for those being left behind by this NDP Liberal government. No tax relief, no plan to fight inflation, only spend, spend, spend. Does this minister not realize that her tax and spend policies are driving millions of Canadians out of the middle class? When will this government finally take steps to control the skyrocketing cost of living? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary, the Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, the member opposite is raising housing, which happens to be one of the themes of our budget of yesterday. And housing is an important way that we are going to help Canadians uh, deal with the increased cost of living. Housing is incredibly important for us right across the country, and we are the government that has invested the most in the creation of housing. 90% of the investments in our budget on housing are on the supply side because we are going to build homes. Yeah. The Honourable Member for Louis Saint Laurent. Mr Speaker, today food is still more expensive. Housing is ever more expensive. The same for gas. Why? Because this government has not directly tackled the first problem for all Canadian families at all. Inflation. Inflation is at its highest in the past 30 years. That is the record of the Liberals. And the budget, there is nothing against this. Why is the government pretending there is no inflation when it's harming all Canadian families? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And my colleague has talked about the Can Liberals' record. Stats Canada today revealed that we have the lowest unemployment rate in 50 years, Mr. Speaker. We have recouped 115% of jobs lost in the pandemic. That is our record. Our plan is working. I would like to thank my colleague for his question. The Honourable Member for Louis Saint Laurent. Well, I would like to commend the Finance Minister's sense of humour because they said. Canada has a proud tradition of fiscal responsibility, and I will continue to do so. Is the minister not aware that for the past seven years, the government has done absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing to control expenditures, Mr. Speaker? It's doubled since the government has arrived, and the debt has also doubled to $1.2 trillion. That is a truth of the matter. $145 million a day, that's the cost. In four years with this government, it will cost us $43 billion a year. Why does the government refuse to do what all serious government must do? Control expenditures. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr Speaker, I'm pleased to talk about our budgetary record. Before the pandemic, we had the best record in all G7 countries today. After having spent to support Canadians throughout the pandemic, we have always, we always and still have the best record in all G7 countries. We are here for Canadians and we are 